Sabadi crap to all my fellow carpenters out there. Creative Totes series lures uh, construction, tools and machines. In today's episode, I'm going to building this a uh, band wire loop forming machine. It is divided in two sections. The one that I'm working right now with uh, to form uh, the wire loop. the other section of the machine to twist and close the loop like so. Okay guys, uh, before jumping to it, if you think I deserve, uh, of course, please subscribe to my channel and uh, ring the bell for future videos notification. And now, with that being said, let's to build some and uh, let's to have fun with! Okay guys, I'm going to build a wire bending loop forming machine. I did some research. This device can be purchased for 2500 Thai baht, 80 USA dollar about. At least for Thailand, it can be bought only through eBay or Amazon. Lazada doesn't sell it. Indeed, with the import tax, the final whole amount is around 5000 baht, 160 USA dollar. Practically the price doubles and I think that is too expensive at least for my wallet. Better to build my own version that cost me um, around 600 baht, 20 USA dollar. Okay guys, uh, back from scratch and uh, let's begin uh, to build the machine.
all these uh, steel rings that I'm pointing at with blue arrows and uh, the other one that you are going to see during the construction are simply made by cutting and drilling inch doors like this one with uh, different diameter in size. Now that uh, the handle is done, I'm proceeding by building the main uh, machine frame, assembling and welding these two pieces of steel one centimeter thick. This is uh, the main shaft made uh, with a mild steel bar with a diameter of 1 cm. One side was cut to gain a recess 1.5 cm long. The other side of the bar was drilled and uh, M6 threaded to connect the shaft to the handle. As already told, all these rings that I'm pointing at are made by cutting and drilling inch door with a different diameter like this one. Indeed, this device can be built without involving milling nor late machine. I am proceeding by assembling the device section that is going to twist the wire. As you can see, this machine is a prototype. I never worked with such device before. Indeed, I am building from scratch. These two springs, as example, that I am testing right now, and uh, I'm trying to understand what's the best solution. Install one or two springs and uh, later on will become clear why.
As you can see here, I built prototypes with a different shape to understand what's the best pattern and again, no milling machine was involved. The grooves that are going to hold the wire in place are simply made with my steel meter saw. I set my blade with a proper cut depth and I went for one cut at 90 and two cuts at 45 degrees as you can see. 